Lisa? Lisa? Lisa, are you in here? Lisa? Uh, I don't think she's here. I don't see her. Do you see her? Lisa? 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 Uh, hmm. Nope. nope she not is here. not here. Uh, nope. nope. Not here either. I wonder mm -hmm. where she could be. Have you guys seen Lisa? I... We, she, we haven't seen her since this morning. Uh, Lisa! Lisa! I wonder... Where is she? Hey, Cypher, have you seen Lisa? No, Chicken Wuss. And don't come into my room ever again. Um, excuse me, Officer Gordon? It's Detective Gordon, miss. Oh, yeah, so sorry. Um, Mr. Detective Gordon, we want to report a missing person. Who's missing? Her name is Lisa. She's a student here at Balham Garden. When was the last time you saw her? This morning, she was in the halls and she said she was going to take a nap, but she's not in her room anymore. Well, maybe she went out for a walk. That is very unlikely. She had strict orders from the doctor to rest. She wouldn't just up and leave. What was your name again? Mariel. Okay, Miss Mariel. I'm sure Lisa is fine. She's a teenager. She probably felt like disobeying the doctor's orders and went outside to have some fun. But that's not like Lisa! Maybe she's out spending time with her boyfriend. Are there any guys that she likes? Yes, but we already spoke to him and he hasn't seen her. I'm sure she's fine, miss. You don't understand. This is the same girl that got poisoned the other day. I think she's in trouble. Listen, I would love to help, but we don't have the manpower to start a search, especially if the person hasn't been gone for that long. What do you mean? A person is considered missing after 48 hours have passed. 48 hours? But that's... that's too long! I'm sorry, miss. Again, I would love to help, but we have to follow protocol. This girl could be just having fun outside. I'm sure she's fine. You've gotta be kidding me! I can't believe the police want 48 hours before they consider her missing! It's a school campus. If a student's missing, we shouldn't be waiting at all. Especially one that was sick and right after being in the hospital for weeks! Well, if the police aren't going to do anything about it, I say we do something instead. Yes, I agree. I'm tired of this nonsense. Come on, think, guys. Where can she be? Where haven't we looked? Maybe the reason why we haven't found her on campus is because she's not here. What if she was taken? Taken? You mean kidnapped? It is a possibility, especially with how crazy things have been lately. In case she has been kidnapped, what can we actually do? Well, I know someone who might be able to help us, but we need to leave right now to go see him. And skip school? And lunch? Are you guys being serious right now? Fine, let's go. You were always such a good friend. So loyal to Sophia, so loyal to Cypher. And now, you'll be loyal to me. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You'll soon learn not to mess with me. Why are you doing this to me? Why, you were an easy target, that's all. Besides, it's not like anyone will miss you. How can you say these things? I thought we were friends. Friends? How can we be friends? You were only a minor hurdle between me and my goal. I... I don't understand. That's fine. But you will do exactly as I say. And if I refuse? You won't. Hey, kiddo. I was getting worried there for a bit about you. Who are these two? Hey, Laguna. These are my two friends, Mariel and James. They're both students at Balham Garden, and they have been helping me out with our investigation. I see. Well, any friends of Renoa are my friends. Now, I'm guessing this isn't a family visit, so spill the beans. What's up? A girl from school has gone missing. We need help. Aren't missing people something the police should work on? Yes, but they won't start an investigation until after 48 hours have passed, and by then, it might be too late. Is this about that ponytail girl you told me about? The, the one who stalks your ex? 
what is it with people thinking Cypher and I were a thing? Gosh, yes, this is about that girl. Her name is Yandere, and we believe that she is behind all the incidents that have happened at the garden. And you believe that she's the reason your friend is missing? Yes. Renoa, honey, we are writers, not private investigators. We are also journalists. We seek the truth. Renoa. Laguna, can you help me or not? Fine, I'll see what I can do. I'll ask around and see if some of my sources have any info on this Yandere girl. Thank you. No problem. All I ask in return is for you to be careful and to send me your daily reports. They haven't been so daily lately, and it makes me worry. I'm sorry about that. I promise I'll be better about it. Thankfully, Mariel and James have been very helpful, and I believe we are finally onto something. How's your cover? I mean, clearly these two know who you are, so should I worry? No, no, nobody else suspects a thing. I've actually been paired up with another student, Squall, to do my assignments, and everything is going according to plan. S Squall? Uh, hmm, uh, how, uh, how is he? Is he, uh, nice to you? Yeah, why? No, no reason. I just, uh, worry about you. Maybe I should go with you and meet your colleagues and teachers. I suppose it's your father, and- Laguna, I'm fine. I can take care of myself. Squaw and the rest of the students are really nice, and the faculty is surprisingly nice too. Well, don't you guys have to fight monsters at the training center and stuff? Maybe I should come along as a student. An older student. Laguna, stop. I got this. Besides, the training center is not so bad. Squaw is really strong, and I know he has my back whenever we face monsters. He's pretty smart too. Oh, okay. Good, good. Well, just promise me you'll be safe. I'm always safe. Who is she? I, I told you, I don't know. I don't believe you. Tell me who she is, who she really is. I said I don't know, please, let me go. You aren't going anywhere until you tell me exactly what I need to know. Now, who is this Renoa person? Why is she on campus? Please, please, I, I don't know anything. If you know what's good for you, you will talk. One way or the other, you will talk. Please, no, not again. Well, hopefully Laguna can help us out. Yeah, I'm really worried about Lisa and we still have no leads of our own. Laguna is a good guy. He has a lot of sources. I'm sure he will come up with something. Is he your boss? He seemed to care a lot about you. Yeah, kinda. You see, he is my boss, but he's also kind of like family. He used to know my mom back in the day, and ever since she died, he's been looking after me. I know it might seem like he's being overprotective at times, but he's just a sweet guy. He's always treated me like his own daughter, and since my own father is too busy with his politics, it feels nice to have an actual fatherly figure around. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about your mom. Thank you. She used to be a great singer, and Laguna says that she was the one who convinced him to become a grider. My mom used to be really good about these things, and every time I grite, I feel closer to her. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, hey, Squall! I didn't mean to eavesdrop, I was just trying to find you. Oh, it's okay. I guess now you know a little bit more about me, huh? Which means you have to tell me something about you to make it even. Uh... I'm kidding! Anyway, I just wanted to make sure you're okay since you didn't show up to class today. Ah, see? I knew you were going to like me, Squall. I didn't know you cared. I, I, I just don't want my grades to be affected. We're scored together as partners, and if you don't show up, it looks bad on me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm fine. Something just came up at the last minute. But you can fill me in on today's class, and maybe we can go and do our assignment together? Sh sure. Great. All right, guys. I'll see you later, okay? My partner and I have secrets to share. Okay. That was cute. That was extremely cute. Did you see Squall blush? Yeah, but it really seemed out of place considering that we're still looking for Lisa. Oh, shush. Love is love. I really don't feel like we were useful today. Shut up and buy me dinner. Nobody's here. Hello, Lisa. <gasps> hey, um, guys, have you 